So why is a beautiful woman like yourself single? That's a question that I get asked a lot. And honestly, I've asked some people that question too, male and female. But I usually don't, you know, really dip and dab into like my personal personal business too much. Um, but I wanted to answer that question because I was asked that question by one of my subscribers. Um, and I wanted to get more into detail. I find anything, any and everything just to make videos about. I actually did do a video on being single on my other channel that I have since deleted. Not my star of my own reality. I still have that up. It was another channel. But I wanted to do it over here for some of my newer subscribers and for some of my older subscribers who may have that same question also. So stay tuned as I answer why a beautiful woman like myself is single at the moment. Stay tuned. Greetings everyone. This is Miss QT Style once again. Welcome back to my channel where I'm leading the way in fashion, beauty, jewelry, and non-candy Cody talk. Okay, so I may have to do a part one and a part two with this, but I'm going to try to make a part one and that's that. Okay, why am uh, a beautiful woman like myself single? To answer that question in a nutshell, it's because I choose to be, okay? Now there's more to it, okay? It's not just that cut and dry. Lately, like as of the last two years, I chose to be single okay and the reason I chose to be single is I was in between states in Cali then I moved to Atlanta a little while then I went back home to Louisiana moved back to Atlanta now I'm back in Cali okay and I've been back a couple of years now so I wasn't trying to start a relationship after my last one um, because I knew I was not going to stay in Cali so why start something I didn't want anything to deter me and stop me from going to Atlanta where my daughter was going to go to college at and because I wanted to go to Atlanta. So I figured I would just, you know, not get serious with anybody. Okay. But since I've been back to Cali, honestly, I just don't even have the time or energy to put into a relationship. Okay. Because I was focusing on my business and getting myself back in order. You know, when I left California to go to Atlanta. I gave up my apartment. I gave I, I um, resigned from my job. I gave them the three weeks notice. Three weeks, yeah. I, I know normally two, but I gave them three weeks notice. I sold all my furniture and um, had yard sale after yard sale. So I was planning on not even coming back to Cali. Okay, so I didn't want to start a relationship. Okay, that's so basically in a nutshell. Miss QT style is single at the moment because I've had relationships because I choose to be. Okay. Uh, I've never been a type of woman who had to have a man. You know, there's some women that just got to have a man. A piece of man is better than a whole man. I mean, I mean, no man to some women. I've never been like that. Okay. Um, honestly, and right now a man is not a necessity for me. He's a luxury. Okay. And I mean that in a way is that a lot of women, um, like I said, they can't, operate or they can't stand along without a man and that's fine and cool if that's you know how it is but I can okay and honestly where I live at in Cali I've said it before on video not really a lot of good choices me being a strong southern woman not many good choices out here and what I mean by that is either they're the good ones or either married or ready and taken Okay, and I don't deal with married guys or guys with girlfriends, so that's out. Or they're in jail, 
and I don't deal with jail, um, you know, men out jail. So that's out. Or they've been hurt. Like a lot of women are hurt and, and afraid to get back in a relationship. I'm me being one. A lot of guys are. I've heard so many of my guy friends say, you know, they want to date and stuff, but they don't want to be used. They've been used by women. They're hurt. They're scorned. And they're not trying to get into relationships, okay? They just want to kick it, okay? And I don't just want to kick it, okay? So we don't, the ones that are pretty decent, I can't click with them because they just want to kick it. And I know you guys know what kick it means, and I'm not with that, okay? And that's cool. They can kick it, kick it over there, okay? Um, and if not, then the, some of these guys out here in California are spoiled, okay? Spoiled meaning that they've had women that take care of them. They've had women, whereas they didn't have to do nothing but uh, pretty much play um, video games or ride around in their girlfriend's car or come pick them up on payday. They don't have to do nothing. They don't even have to take out the garbage. They don't even have to help uh, carry groceries in. Um, they're spoiled, you know. Not all. I'm saying some. I'm giving different reasons why. Cali, well, and I'm speaking Cali because I'm in Cali, but I'm sure this is in a lot, a lot of other states too. The options are just not out there. And I must say that I am a very, um, I believe in chivalry still, okay? And um, like I said, I'm a Southern girl and there's certain values that I look for. A lot of men out here have issues when you're close to your family. And everybody knows a lot of Southern folk, most Southern folks are really close to family, you know? And a lot of them don't, can't deal with that. Let's just put it that way. And I'm close to my family, my daughter, my brother, my mother, and this and that and the other. So I don't want anybody who's going to try to take me away from my family. So bottom line, I'm single because I choose to be and because the options are slim to none. Now, I'm not saying there's not anybody out there. I know it is. But I'm very picky. And I'm not going to settle just to say, oh, I have a man. Okay, I, like everybody, I have a man. I'm not going to just settle. I, that's just not me. My nerves is too motherfucking bad to just settle for anybody. Okay, and I know a lot of my, um, not even, not my friends, but a lot of associates I know, they're settling. Okay, I hear them on the phone. I had a coworker at my other job. Um, she would, her boyfriend was going to school. They lived with her mom, him, three um, children. He went to school. He didn't work. She worked every day. He used to be calling for money, calling because he won't his weed. Okay. Then he would turn around and just get mad with her and make her feel uh, like she's not doing something right because uh, he's frustrated because I guess he didn't want to stay by um, where he was at. He felt like she was bringing him down. He, you know, and I'm sitting in the office with her, so I would know she would be crying sometimes. And I sit there and I look, I said, you see, that's why I'm single, because I don't have time for that. You know, and she's just tr going out of her way trying to, um, you know, make him say, she was like, I try my best, you know. And I'm like, you know what? Ah, I have to get up. So I'm saying that to say I am really, really picky and I'm very, very, I don't tolerate shit like that. I would have been gone. I don't care if I had two or three kids from because obviously he does that all the time. And I mean, that was that type of conversation I just said was like 20 to 30 conversations I've heard like that with her back there crying, have to go to the bathroom. But anyway, so that's why I'm single. It's very it's very limited on good options out here for me. OK, keep in mind for me, because I am very, very picky for some other women that, you know, want to accept some of the stuff. Fine. I'm not going there, okay? And I know some say, well, who the hell does she think she is? No man is perfect. I'm not looking for a perfect man, but I'm looking for one perfect for me, okay? Well, I'm not even looking. That's another thing. I'm not looking, like going out looking, because I feel like a good man will come to me. It's always said that let a man find you. But when I say I'm not looking, like I really don't go anywhere to really... Me, guys, if I don't meet them in a grocery store, shopping, the movies, or back and forth from work, I'm not going to meet them, you know. And I'm not the club type anymore. I used to club hop in my um, younger days. I don't do that anymore. Um, 
So I really don't get out there much to meet anyone. And when I, I was asked that question, it made me think too. My daughter's, uh, I got with my daughter's father when I was, I just graduated high school. Um, when I was like 17 years old. He was 20 or 21. And I would say that was my first real relationship. I had guys I dated. You know, you went with them a couple of months and then you break up, whatever. But real relationship, I think that was my first. And, you know, after about a year, I think, um, I got pregnant with my daughter. And he and I were engaged to be married and stuff like that. But then I started noticing, um, like, jealous streaks in him. Um He's not a bad person. I'm not going to say that for those of you who know him, who's watching my video. He's not a bad person. You know, he's a good person and all, but he was very, I think we both were immature and we got in relationship and we stayed in relationship for years after we had our daughter quick and stuff like that. Thank the Lord for my daughter though. Best thing that ever happened to, I guess, me and him. I mean, I'm, I know it's the best thing that happened <laughs> to me, but he has other kids. So I'm sure they're the best things too. That's why I said it like that. But, um, he was very like jealous. I, it's like, he didn't want me to go out. He would get mad when I would go out with my friends. Uh, he and I would go on, uh, Bourbon street, walking on canal street. Uh, if a guy looked at me too hard, he was like, you must be know him, you know him, or you must be messing with him. And, you know, and I'm like, it's just little stupid things we used to get into and argue over such stupid, stupid, stupid things that I honestly think that I am that relationship kind of. Um, scarred me a little bit, scarred me a little bit into not really or being scared to get into uh, a real relationship. Again, not I've had relationships since him um, lasted. Some of them, you know, lasted a year to two years, whatever. But um, that's it. It didn't go longer than two to three years, and um, it's because I get bored easily. Um, I get aggravated easily, too. I am just really, honestly, I'm a piece of work, <laughs> you know, but I can say this. I've been told by um, a lot of my exes, and when I say exes, it's guys I might have dated like maybe three, four months, not many, but it was guys who, you know how sometimes you, you jump into a relationship, but then you, you, you realize later you're better off as friends? That's how a few of, you know, uh, relationships were. And all of them tell me that, like, like one of one guy just hit me up on Facebook, you know. He was like, I see you doing big things. That's nice, Tommy. You de deserve the best. Um, I always said that about you. You're good, you're good people. You're a good person. I wish things was different um, for us. So, you know, I'm a good person. I'm not saying I'm, 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 I'm like, just really hard in a relationship, but... Um, it's certain things I expect. Like, for one, I don't, I can go on and on with what I don't like. But I, let me tell you what I do like. I like a man who, honestly, I like men with Southern values. If they don't have that, I kind of like, it's not, I, I don't go forth with even trying to get to know them. And I shouldn't do that. But I like men with Southern values who, who are close to their family, meaning their mother, their children, whatever. Um... I like men who open the door for you, who, um, I like men who like to show affection in public, not necessarily kissing all kind of crazy ways in, in public, but like holding hands, playing and stuff like that. I like a man who has a job. Honestly, I like a man who, um, will squirrel my ass. I have to be honest with you. And my friends tell me all the time that that's not realistic. Um, men are not just going to come off the bat and, and, um, do things for you. I said, um, I didn't ask a guy off the bat to come do anything for me, but if he's in a relationship with me and we've been dating and courting and his ass coming over, I'm cooking, I'm doing my part, then yeah, he can buy me a couple of outfits and a couple of shoes and shit. And see, that's the problem. Men don't like, a lot of men, uh, they want you to buy their ass something, which I have no problem with that if they're buying me too. But I'm talking with these men, oh, you got $20? Um, oh, what you cook today? What you cook? And I, you know... First of all, don't think that I got to cook for you, you know, especially if we're not in a relationship. I cook on GP, you know, because I'm a Southern woman and I love to cook. 
uh, I cook when I have company over, but don't come expecting it. What I cook today, I'll be like, what did you bring? You know, you go to the grocery store and get some groceries and um, I'll, I'll make it for you. And I know some of you probably saying, well, this she, she tripping. Ain't no man going to do that. But yes, they are. Because my, one of my last um, real relationships was out here, but it was with a man from the South and he had moved out here. And I didn't have to tell him that. He's from New Orleans. I didn't have to tell him that. He called me. He was like, I'm on my way to the grocery store. Um, do you want me to pick you up so you can, um, so I can um, buy you some, some groceries and stuff? Do you need anything? That's what he said. I was like, no, I don't need anything. He was like, you sure? He's like, cereal, whatever, you know, come on, come on. He pretty much made me come to the store so he can buy that. I didn't have to ask him that. He did it, okay? Um... For my birthday, he made sure the four days leading up to my birthday, I had, I think I did a video about this before. You know, it's just a difference in Southern men compared to, for me, compared to um, uh, men from the city, if you will. Okay, and I just, I like that Southern, Southern value. I just, I love it. And that's what I look for. So, bottom line is, you guys, I am single because I choose to be. Okay, let me say, I chose to be. Now, I am open to finding, um, you know, love. I want a relationship. Yes, I do, but I will not settle. I, I just won't take any Tom, Dick, and Harry and say, that's my man, like a lot of women do, and they're, they're miserable as hell. Trust me, I know a lot of them. So, um, yeah, so that's why Miss QT Style is single. You know, people ask that question sometimes, and I wonder. Sometimes I be wanting to say, and why are you in a relationship? Because some of these relationships that I know about are just like, like, please, is that a relationship? It's one-sided. But I know that um, a lot of people and a lot of ladies on here I see, you know, have um, your husbands and your relationships and people. And, you know, a lot of people in my life that I know have relationships. And then there's a lot like me. A lot of my friends, we're single. Like my cousin, one of my cousins, me and her, I ain't going to call her name. You know, was talking about that when I went back home to Louisiana. She was like, girl, yeah, I'm single for right now. I have my friends and stuff. She was like, but I'm too cheeky. Cheeky meaning that she want to have her way. And I'm like that too. And she's like, and ain't nobody coming. Tell me nothing but my kids and all of that. So, you know, everybody is single for a reason. Because someone is single don't mean that something is wrong with them or they can't find a man. Because, I mean, look at me. I'm beautiful. Yes, I can find a bunch of men. But the the I mean, you're finding men in that men approach me, that don't mean I'm going to grab any one of them and say, oh, you know, let's be in a relationship. No, I'm very, very um, picky. And um, sometimes the first sign of them having a little jealous streaks runs me away. And that goes back to when I was with my daughter's father, I think. Um, first sign of certain things, I'll just be like, I'll be out. I'll, I'll cut all communications off with them and stuff. And I know I should not be like that, you guys, but. I mean, it is what it is. But like I said, I am open right now to uh, finding a relationship. And trust me, if you guys see me or talking about somebody on here or on Facebook talking about um, some guy, he must be a bomb ass guy. If you hear me talking about him, it's because he has taken Miss QT South's heart. And honestly, the man who gets this heart is going to be a very lucky man. The man who gets his heart again. And that's another thing. I don't. Scorpios, um, we don't like love easily, but when we love, we love hard. And sometimes people scare away from that. Um, if you feel me, if Scorpios out there, y'all know how we do. When we do love, we are the most devoted, um, loyal, um, lovers ever. So like I said, the man who gets his heart will be special. Yes, I am single because I want to be or wanted, I keep saying want, wanted to be at the moment. Um, I am open to a relationship. That's why I'm single. So I hope that helped anybody else who might have that question as to why Miss QT Sal is single. Um, basically, I'm not desperate to um, really just jump into a relationship with anyone. I'm very picky. Also, um, even though my daughter is 21, she's still at, at home child. And um, I don't want to bring anybody around her. Never did. Um, you know, she has her little friend and stuff like that, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that's why I am single. See, and it's nothing wrong with being single. Um, sometimes you need to be single to get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, like I said, I've been back and forth with the school thing with my daughter. So I really didn't have time and I chose to stay single then. 
actually the guy I don't know if y'all saw my video where I was saying um he told me to let go of the apron string um well he was one that I was dating right before I left here and you see that comment kind of pissed me off when he said it and um, um I was like you know what I think I was probably looking for a reason to probably not go on with that relationship anyway uh, or not let it grow because we wasn't even in a relationship. We was talking and seeing each other. I didn't want it to um, grow. And then that comment to me was stupid because, see, that's a red flag. You know, you got a problem with me being too close to my daughter. So, see, that's the type of things that keeps me single. And until that right man comes along, which I hope is soon, before my ass really gets old, since there are people be saying, oh, well, I get too old. But you're never too old to find love. People in their 70s and shit finding love. But, you know, I'm still young. And so I'm open to that. So... Um, stay tuned. Y'all never know. You never know. I might be on here telling y'all about my new relationship. And another thing, let me say this too. A lot of stuff I don't talk about. I don't, I don't be on Facebook with, oh, I met this one and that one and that one. Just because I'm not in a relationship does not mean that I am not dating or talking to someone. I don't put titles on stuff that don't supposed to be. A lot of women do. I don't do that. Um, so just because I'm not in a relationship, living with somebody married does not mean that I am not dating a man, okay? And that's it. It's a wrap.